These Notre Dame students practice two hours a day, six days a week. They lift weights in their free time and give up breaks in exchange for the steady stroke of the rowboat. As soon as you get a taste of it, it's like you, you need it. You need it in your life. They may look and act like varsity athletes, but at the end of the day, the 50-some men on the crew team are simply college students participating in a club sport. The women's rowing team at Notre Dame is varsity, while the men's is club. This is because of Title IX, an education act that requires the same number of scholarships to be given to men and women. Schools with large football programs like Notre Dame tend to create women's varsity rowing teams to help balance out the scholarships. And with all the practice time comes an intimate knowledge of each other's style on the water. I mean, 20 hours a week for four years, like Tim and I have taken literally millions of strokes together. See how guys, you know, push through at the end and where they kind of hit the breaking point, where they make their moves. It's a feel thing you develop over you know, a long time. Notre Dame ranks fourth among club teams and even competes among varsity teams, consistently ranking in the top 30 nationally. Just look at the back. <laughs> It's like, no, there's a piece. And one senior will continue to row after graduation when he moves to Oklahoma City to train for the national team. The ultimate goal really is to go to the Olympics and win a gold medal. Uh, but there's a lot of steps in between that. Stackhouse eventually will pursue a PhD in philosophy, but knows now is the time to see if he can achieve his goal. I need to go and see what this potential is, because if I don't, then I'm just, I'm choosing to close off an opportunity in my life. Varsity or not, these athletes take their sports seriously. We're a club team, but that's, that's not something we talk about a lot. We treat ourselves like varsity athletes. After all, taking 1,200 strokes of practice is all in a day's work. Reporting from the St. Joseph River, I'm Sarah Mervosh, Observer News.